what's up guys? So, I'm at the gym right now. I already did my leg day. So for the new program we got two leg days going on. And I don't typically do cardio after leg day. And that's because you already broke down your muscles so much with the lifts. When you create the micro tears with the cardio, you're preventing your muscles from actually growing. But today, I just feel like I need the cardio, so I'm kind of going against the grain and against what I normally do. And it's really hard to talk to a camera and climb this fucking stair thing. It's called a climbing system. Stairmaster. Ah, it's Stairmaster. That. But, um, gym is nice. I think I might walk through and film a little bit after this, just so you, you guys can see what I did. Today's workout consisted of front lunges, back lunges, um, goblet squats, front squats. Then I did leg extensions, leg curls, and I did seated calf raises. So hopefully when Thursday comes around my legs will be all healed up and I can do regular squats that day because that is my second leg day. I'm up really early. It is 6.09 right now, and I've been awake since, I believe, 4.55, 5 a.m. And I'm not, like, going into work early, but I wanted to get some work done today. So, I got a few things going on for you. First off, we got a new video going up. I think that's going to be the title. Not too certain yet. But I finally sort of have my life in order, I think. That, that's the beauty of adulting. Um, you think you have everything going right, and then everything comes crashing down on you again. Um, so I think I figured everything out at least to, enough where I can get three videos up a week on the times that I decided on originally. Now, this week it's a little messed up because today is Friday, and I put one video up on Wednesday, one Friday, and I believe I'm going to put one up Try on Saturday because I already have it made, just haven't posted it yet. Oh. Those are my uh, extra alarms, just in case I didn't wake up. You guys might have or might have not noticed this, but I have a slight lisp that's going on, and that's because I'm actually missing a tooth over here. Um, it's my second to back molar. And so since they've removed it, it's been about eight months, okay? Eight months. I've had a giant hole in my mouth for fucking eight months. It's been ridiculous. But now that the, I'll explain the process a little bit, they had to remove the, the old tooth, put a titanium rod in place, but before they could put a titanium rod in place, they had to do a bone graft and like reconfigure my jawline a little bit. And then did that sinus lift and just very simple thing just so it like moved everything out of the way and now that the rod is in place it's been sitting there they finally took the molds the other day when I went to the dentist and now they're gonna pop the tooth in so uh, this is gonna be a little gross but I'll show you guys what the hole is um, and if you don't want to see it skip ahead like 20 seconds okay so it's like right here I don't know if that's going to be gross, it might not be, but yeah, giant hole, and whenever I would speak, this is what would irritate the hell out of me, for the past eight months, whenever I would say a word, then my tongue would get stuck in that little gap, and it sucks. Like any S or H sound, unless I really enunciate the words, then my tongue would get stuck and I'd say it weird. And not very many people would notice, but I would notice, and it pissed me off. But now it's gonna stop. For my work day, got the new clothes on, looking pretty nice. So, we're gonna go to the gym after work, and I'm gonna try to have a revamped workout, but I'm not sure if I'll have enough time to actually build it. But definitely either starting this week 
where at the end of this week I'm going to sit down and redesign my program and reevaluate everything so I can kind of pick out the key points in it that need work. So there'll be more on that in a bit. What's up YouTube? So work has been tough. So I already had a monster today and I stopped and grabbed a coffee because this morning because I knew I wouldn't be able to survive at work. So what I'm going to try to do is at least get one extra hour of sleep each night um, and I think that will fix everything. But what I got to show you guys this new monster, Ultra Black. What we're gonna do is we're gonna make a pre-workout, okay? So we got creatine, XXX Power from GNC Amp, okay? And then we got ACG3, or ACG cubed, supercharged. Apparently it's the new formula, something or whatnot. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna mix it all together. Now, it says not to, there's a disclaimer right now, don't do this if you're not used to pre-workout at all and you're not used to energy drinks, especially if you're not used to at least combining two of these, okay? So we're going to put 12 ounces of Monster in. The recommended water for these powders is 12 a piece, so, um, or actually it's 8 a piece. I actually put a little bit over 12. Um, no, screw it. I just put the whole can of Monster in. So now we're gonna get the creatine. And now, I try to make it as level as scoop as possible. Don't really need an excess of this stuff. So we got one scoop of that. Another scoop of that. And we get the pre-workout. Alright. Now we got a container. So side note with this, you can't shake it. Carbonated beverage. This should be interesting. Um, just because of how potent this is probably going to be, I'm going to leave for the gym now and drink it probably when I'm like halfway there. Um, today is the second leg day. So as you guys know, we switched up the program. So let's go see what we get to do. This is the gym. Huh. So I just finished my workout. Did some cardio. Um, today was a leg day, and it's a very basic leg day. It was just front squats and etc. But I'm gonna I'm gonna show you guys around the gym a little bit. Over here, we just got our basic Smith machine. Right here is a deadlift. Um, I'm actually not sure what this is called. But the way it works is you put your weight on the bar and then you tilt that handle at the top in the back over there. You tilt it up and what it does is it puts the weight on the floor for you. So it's an easy way to pick up really heavy weight so you don't have the plates on the ground. So I thought that was really neat. So in the corner there you got some interesting bars. Um, those guys. Kind of neat. Plates. This is a back machine. So I'm not gonna walk you guys through every machine. I'll just like walk around with the camera a little bit. But over here is another Smith machine. Over here we got a small squat rack. And then here's the big squat rack. The only thing that I necessarily don't like about this is that there's this on one side and it's not on the other. So the bar is actually a little crooked. Which kind of sucks, but the gym is fairly nice, has a lot of equipment though. Another squat rack over here. All these curling bars. This guy. Calf raises. Another calf machine. I think that's for back actually. This is a interesting leg press. I'll just like walk you guys around the whole place real quick. Um, this area over here is kind of like a mixture of legs and some upper body and then some abs. So it's, it's kind of peculiar, but it works. 
And then over here we got more legs. All of these machines. To be real though, I don't necessarily like this guy. Um, only reason because it's like one of the older style machines. So the pegs for it are a farther distance and um, it's a little bit looser than normal machines. So when you start the movement, you have zero weight and about like three inches into the movement, then you pick up the weight instead of just picking it up from the get-go. It's, it's weird, you'd have to try it to understand what I mean or you'd have to have a similar experience. But then we got a cable set up over here. Pretty large. And then you got these machines over here where this is upper body, that one over there is for your back. This is a leg uh, curl machine, and I don't really like this one either. Only reason because um, you have to put your, your your knee right here and your your calf here, and because of how it's placed, that's how you push it down. So you're actually using more of your um, quads rather than your hamstrings, and leg curl is a hamstring movement, so you kind of want to be using hamstrings. This is the leg extension, extend, oh yeah. This is a leg extension machine, and I actually really like this one because you can do singular movements, whereas you can move one leg at a time rather than using both at one time. And to be real, I feel like that's helped my leg extensions. This guy. So over here, we have more and more machines. Um, and then we got another cable crossover. This one's a little bit older. But over here in this area, it's all this like, I don't know what you want to call it. Some type of aerobic room, I guess. You got this guy. I don't even know what it is or how to use it, but it looks kind of cool. Then there's this guy, which is like a true stretch system which is kind of neat. I haven't used it to be honest. A couple ab benches, punching bag, some steppers, some balls, mat and whatnot. Some mirrors over here. All right, so I think that's basically it. Um, and we got over here is all the benching areas. And the dumbbell set, you get so many dumbbells in this place. And then you got a regular bench, a incline bench, decline bench. So you got a regular flat bench again over here. And then all your normal other accessory machines. So yeah, that's the gym. Um, it's all pretty nice. Oh, there's also cardio over there. It's just um, some treadmills and some stairmasters, which you guys saw me on, or um, which you guys will see me on or have seen me on, depending on where I placed the clip from when I was on the stairmaster. Um, but other than that, that's, a, that's the gym, guys. Uh, it's pretty nice. I like it. And the best thing about it is this isn't the only location. There's five of Vanguard. What is this place called? There's five of Vanguard key clubs around. So there's one in Portsmouth where I live. And then there is one down in Northampton, and both are 12 minutes away from my house, so it's kind of cool. And then there's also, let's see, there's one in Newburyport, Mass. There's, I think there's one in Maine. And then there's another one, I think, in Northampton. Don't quote me on those last three, but there's three more. And the one in Northampton isn't as nice. This one's a little bit nicer. There's more equipment. But I think there's more squatting racks, so I might switch up my... Uh, leg days so I can go to the Northampton one instead of the Portsmouth one. That way I can just like have a level lift off, if you guys know what I mean. But yeah, that's that. It's currently 12.05 a.m. Tuesday, August 2nd. So I'm wrapping up this video right now for you guys. It's a nice picture right there. But um, it's a gym tour. So it's going to be sick. Um, it's not really sick, it's just like 
me walking around the gym, but it does show you where I'm working out, and it's kind of neat because you guys can see all the equipment that I have access to now, and you could have access to if you come to the gym. It'd be awesome if you guys could like this video, give it a nice big thumbs up, and subscribe to my channel. I'm really trying to get more subscribers, um, and it's, it's not like a numbers game, it's just I want to be able to reach more people. And right now I have 18 subscribers. And I'm going to continue to put these videos out. And if I have a larger base of people to interact with, I'm able to put up more content. Especially since like I'm re-involving myself with everything fitness since I took a little kind of vacation from it for a bit. Uh, just due to like not having a gym. So um, yeah, subscribe. Tell your friends, tell your family, tell your mom, dad, sister, I don't care, tell everybody. Catch you guys later.